a major development today about an organization that has contributed so much to the Grand Rapids region over the years. Today, the Richard and Helen DeVos Foundation has officially come to an end. In the last 54 years, the foundation has given more than $1.1 billion to more than a thousand nonprofit organizations. In making the announcement, son Doug DeVos explained the decision, saying their intention was never for their foundation to live on forever, but to lay the groundwork for future generations who would come and make their own impact. Their eldest son, Dick DeVos, added they wanted people in their home community to have all they might need right here. He says that was a key driver of their health care giving. And health care was just one of the many areas the Richard and Helen DeVos Foundation gave to. There were many others, education, arts, culture, and more. 13 On Your Side's Catherine Barrett shares with us more about who they were and how they helped to make Grand Rapids the city it is today. Rich DeVos and Jay Van Andel struck up a friendship in high school in the 1940s, vowing that one day they'd go into business together. They started a flight school when neither one could fly, bought a boat to sail the Caribbean, and sank it. But it was that can-do spirit and time spent as Neutralite distributors that inspired the start of Amway in 1959. They just connected, and uh, after, after many years, they, they just never disconnected. You know, they're always together. Rich met Helen Van Wessep, a student at the time who became a teacher at Madison School in Grand Rapids. They married in 1953. It was Helen's insistence that she and Rich commit to sharing their treasure by tithing that laid the groundwork for a lifetime of giving. And it became a, a, a tradition for them and it became a joy for them. Uh, not something that took away from their life or their living, but something that added to, to their living. Uh, because there was so much joy involved with being able to share uh, the blessings that uh, they had received. It's a mindset that was ever present in the DeVos household. Sons Doug, Dan, and Dick remember it well. You know, the best thing they did in their communications was that just their actions. It was what they did. Sure, they talked about it a lot too, but it's what they did. As Amway continued to grow, Rich and Helen inspired the revitalization of a city they loved so well. Grand Rapids was soon home to the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel and DeVos Performance Hall. Their names included on the outside, so other generous donors would be inspired to do the same. They showed the community how philanthropy was done, always guided by their faith, their belief in people, and their desire to meet the needs of a community. Seldom did they do projects on their own or take initiatives. They brought others along. They, they encouraged us to be a part of the story. And so uh, I think their example was something that was powerful to us. And so we continue that tradition. We know we're never going to be a big town, but we're going to be a really good mid-sized town. And, and I think we've, we've accomplished that. Rich and Helen also had vision, which inspired the GVSU downtown campus, Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, DeVos Place Convention Center, the JW Marriott Hotel, and the Richard DeVos Heart and Lung Transplant Program at what is now Corwell Health. We're talking hundreds of millions of dollars invested in a community and its people. Once he believed in something, you know, he didn't give, he didn't give it up. He just, he just kept going until he got what he thought was necessary for the community. They had this belief that we could be better, and they wanted to be part of being better, and they wanted to share their resources in a way with others to do it together, to do it as a community. This life was never just about them. It was always about how can I work in the context of community to, with others to help make our world a little better place, to bring just a little bit of God's peace to our world. Catherine Barrent, 13 on your side.